Hello mga Matus! Yes, welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang mat ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. For today's video, nagbalik ako agad-agad kasi may mga request na agad na gawin ko itong tutorial na ito. Kaya syempre, dahil malakas kayo sa akin at ramdam na ramdam ko na gusto nyo nang sagutan ang learning task number 2 nyo, Tama ba? Ay ginawa ko na ito ang video tutorial na ito. Pero bago yon, siguraduhin nyo munang i-like nyo na agad ang video na ito para hindi nyo na siya makalimutan. At kung bago ka pa lang, kararating mo pa lang, kadidiskubre mo pa lang ng aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na agad-agad ang subscribe button. At ang notification bell para maging updated ka palagi sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na? Okay na. So, the moment of truth, simulan na natin ito. I-discuss na natin si joint and combined variation. Okay, ano ba si joint variation? Okay, so if the ratio of one quantity... Okay, to the product of the other two quantities, okay, kanina, or dun sa last video natin, meron lang tayong dalawang quantity, di ba? Dito, we have three quantities na, okay? So, we have here, yung one quantity at yung product ng dalawa pang quantity is constant, then they vary jointly, okay? That is, if y varies zone, uh, zone, <laughs> jointly, sorry, jointly as x and z, then our equation will be y is equal to k x z. Diba sa direct variation, we have y is equal to k x. We have two quantities, y and x. This time, dahil joint ito, Meron na tayong dalawang quantities dun sa other side, which is X and Z. Okay, that's joint variation. Okay, now let's have this one. Ito yung learning task number 2 ninyo dyan sa module nyo. Pero syempre, pinaghirapan kong gumawa pa ng ibang example para meron tayong trill sa pagsosolve ngayon. Okay, so let's start. Alam ko namang ito ang pinakaiintay ninyo ang mag-solve. Okay? So, for number 1, we have this one missing natin si K and yung equation. Pero, mag-focus mag lang tayo dito sa formula niya or sa equation niya. So, for number 1, we have Y is equal to K, X, and then Z. So, i-plug in lang natin yung mga given natin. So, Y is 40. Oops, baka hindi nyo nakikita. Ayan, y is 40 equals to k is missing, and then our x is 4, and then our y is, oh, our z is a 5. So, we will have here 40 is equal to 4 times 5, that is 20, and then k, 20k. And then, to find 4k, you have to divide by 20. Okay, so, your k is? equal to 40 divided by 20, you have 2. So, the value of your k here is 2. Ayan na. So, 2 dito. Ngayon, dito sa equation natin, alam naman natin na ang k natin, yun lang yung constant dito. So, we will have here na y is equal to our k is 2, and then copy lang si x, and then si z. So, ayan na. That's it. Ganun lang kadali. Okay, now for number 2, ang missing naman natin ay si x and then k. Pero alam natin yung equation at alam din natin yung value ni, ni 90 ni y at ni z. Since alam natin ng equation na y is equal to 2xz, alam natin tung 2 na to siya si k. So, alam na natin yung value ng k natin. 2 na siya. Ang hahanapin na lang natin yung value ni x. Tama. So, wala. Ganun pa rin. Kailangan natin hanapin ang value ng x natin. Okay. So, we will have here now y is equal to k, x, and then z. So, our y is 90. Okay. Equals to ang k mo ay 2. Nawawala si x. Asan kaya? Okay. And then, yung z mo is 3. Okay. So, you will have here now 90 is equal to 2 times 3. 
Okay, that's 6, di ba? Okay, 6x. Okay, to find 4x, you have, or you simply have to divide it by 6. Okay, divide lang yan. So, x will be, what is 90 divided by 6? Ilan yun? Isolve nyo nga. Ilang 6 meron kay 90? Ilan? <laughs> Alam nyo? Okay, so we have there 15. Pinasolve ko lang sa inyo. Okay, so for number 3, we have here naman this one. Ang missing natin ay Z and K. Pero meron tayong equation na ibinibigay na sa atin agad ang value ni K. Ang value ni K natin dito ay 3. Okay, so ang nawawala na lang natin ay Z. So for number 3, we have here Y is equal to K, X, and then Z. Our Y here is 80. Okay, equals to our K is 3. Okay, and then ang X natin ay 10. So, 3 times 10. And then missing si Z. Okay, so we will have here, here 80 is equal to 3 times 10. We have there 30. Okay, Z. Now, to find for Z, you have... Our, you have, you have, or kailangan mo lang i-divide siya by 30. Okay, so, umpisa na naman ang ating mga pagkabulol dyan. So, we will have here, Z is equal to, lowest term nito, this will be 8 over 3. Diba, divisible by 10, so 80 divided by 10 is 8, 30 divided by 10 is 3. So, eto na ngayon yung value ng Z mo. So, we have here 8 over 3. Ay, hindi ko pala nasulat dito to. Ano dito sa number 2? So, we have there 15. Okay, for our last given, number 4, we have this one. Dito ko na lang isusulat ha. So, yung number 4 ninyo ay y is equal to k x z. Oh, wag matatakot ha. Baka mamaya natatakot kayo. Ha, love fraction ang k natin. It's okay ha. Hindi kailangan katakutan si fraction. So, ang y natin ay si 33 equals to, okay, ang k is 3 over 5. So, hinahanap natin si x. Okay. So, ang k natin ay 3 over 5. Nawawala si x. And then, ang Z natin ay 15. Okay. O, so, anong gagawin natin? 3 times 15 lang yan. 3 times 15 is 45 divided by 5. O, ilan? O, di ilan niya. O, ba? 9 lang naman siya. Or just simply, eto, pwedeng ma-cancel dito. Shortcut to ha. So, ilang 5 meron kay 15? 3 na lang ito. So, 3 times 3, that's 9. So, 33 is equal to 9. Eh, may x ka pa. 9, x na siya. Okay, tapos, i-divide na natin siya by 9. Mm, wala naman palang sinabi tong fraction na to dito. Okay, so you will have your x is equal to 33 over 9. Pero pwede pa tong lowest term, di ba? 33 over 9 is divisible by 3. So, 33 divided by 3 is 11. And then, 9 divided by 3 is 3. So, your x will be 11 over 3. O, oh, ayan na. Nakumpleto na natin ang table. Ayan, dahil sobrang haba na ng video na ito, puputulin ko muna ito dito ha. Pero isusunod ko din agad-agad ang combined variation. Okay, ngayon kung nagustuhan mo ang video na ito, wag namang kalimutang mag-comment dyan. Kahit simpleng thank you lang, ay sobrang mahalaga na para sa akin at para ma-up itong video na ito. Kaya, magkita-kita tayo mamaya. Let's spread the love of math. Thank you and... And see ya!